Hello and welcome back to my team career mode, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix today. Last time out, Monaco, let's not talk about my race. It was, to be frank, a disaster because I clipped the inside barrier. We've all done that before. Um, yeah, but things are interesting at the top of the championship nonetheless. Leclerc getting his first win of the season, finally nabbing that elusive home race win. Um, to draw himself level on points with Gasly, who had a terrible- Okay, he was involved in the pileup that I caused when I clipped the fucking inside barrier at the Nouvelle Chicane. And then from there, I just had so much damage on the car. I was just driving for the sake of seeing what AI do. Uh, but either way, things have got interesting at the top of the championship. I'm not too focused about the gap to, to between us and the top of the standings, because I know how to win Baku, and I know how to win France, which is next time out. And you know, and then we have Austria, which that's always chaos. And I mean, that's gonna be, well, that's gonna be episode 100, 100% uh, 100 race as well, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you now, I'm gonna regret that so much. Not for the sake of doing the race, maybe partly for editing it together, but mainly for commentating. Cause I can, I'm gonna tell you now, the Austrian Grand Prix for here in season six and the Italian Grand Prix, I can guarantee you both of those videos are going to be over an hour long. My voice will be dead by the end, if I can guarantee you my voice will be dead by the end of this one. Because it usually is, but some teams, uh, more teams bringing in some upgrades there you just saw. We got no rain scheduled for this weekend, thankfully. Um, which is good because, well, this track is a little annoying. Baku is always pretty damn slippery in when it's raining. Not as bad as Singapore. Not as bad as Singapore is if we go quicker through the first sector. And we've got Leclerc just up ahead of us, maybe giving us a bit of a slipstream, which will be handy for heading down the back, the, the front straight. I was gonna say the back straight. It's not really the back straight, is it? Because the back straight, I suppose the back straight is between turn two and turn three, because it's really the. Well, the, the end of sector, the sector three weavy section leading into the main straight. The Perez of the 36.4, we've opened the DRS. Maybe getting a bit of a toll from Leclerc up the road who goes two tenths quicker than that. And then we go two tenths quicker than that. Did you get a fastest lap, everybody gets a fastest lap. Gasly just pips us by half a tenth in the end. Um, and only a second. Again, the qualifying seems to be getting rather close these days. Um, which is, you know, it's good to see the qual that things are getting so close. And it, you'd expect it to with the cars being as maxed out as they are. And I think some teams still have some, you know, engine upgrades to come in. We, we're, we're just waiting on some engine upgrades to come in from Ferrari. Two upgrades on the power unit. Then we've got some durability upgrades we're waiting on as well. But those are, again, we're just waiting for those because of the regulation changes. Um, we're out on the medium tyres because, well, you... You may recall the strategy I did last season, mediums for like 17 laps and then onto the soft. It worked brilliantly, I fancy doing it again. Haven't been setting the timing screens alight so far, um, but you know, there's still plenty chance. I'm still, I'm hopeful we can go through on the mediums. I'm pretty sure we can get through on the mediums. Eight can with a 37.2 set in the early pace, but times are gonna tumble a lot freaking quicker than that. I can guarantee you of that right now. Cause they always do as we're heading through the old town here. Uh, towards the infamous turn 15, cutting it brilliantly. I have never once taken that corner par corner correctly, and I never planned to. Uh, the Verstappen with the quickest, 36.7. That might be on, the, on a set of medium tires, or a used soft is my guess. Used soft or medium. Uh, so we've only got, well, the kink of turn 20 to go before this opening up the DRS when the, when the line comes up here. And now it's this full throttle. Oh, what? 350 or so kilometers an hour signs of 36 dead. We go half a tenth or so slower than that on the medium tires. Verstappen was on the medium tires and commits to it, as does Pierre Gasly. We go through, Vettel through as well, of course. Um, and we're throwing the medium tires as planned. Just one run for once, which makes a bloody change for Q2 on mediums. Although I am pretty good around Baku. You know, I'm pretty damn good around Baku. And it's not just because I cut turn 15 to all hell. Uh, but, so ourselves, Gasly and Verstappen, going for that alternate strategy of starting on the medium tires. What that strategy looks like for them to what I don't know, Kane. Will they two stop? Will they one stop? Poor Kane, will they hit a wait and finish on that one when we get to the race? But, Q3 then, the business end of qual, getting towards the business end of qualifying as we're heading through sector two here. I think there's a Vettel just ahead of us. 
I'm um, perfectly poised to give us a bit of a slip stream as that could have been close to contact with the wall. Pardon me, through, through the castle section there, I've done that before. Again, bump, freaking bouncing over the curbs there in sector two, because why not? Um, no quick in sector though, well I mean, the time to absolutely send it will be the end of the session. That's when the time will be to absolutely send it, you know? As we are perfectly poised to get maybe a bit of a long distance tow from our teammate here. I don't know if this distance can give you a good tow on this game. Uh, but I think it can back you in real life. Either way, we've got the DRS and we're going to come across the line to go second quickest. The quickest final sector, just 3100 slower than Saints. Um, who is quickest at the moment? We're going to head out at the end of the session. Of course, as ever, just drive out. I'm sorry doing this now. Last run of the set, last run in Q3. I'll just leave it as late as I can get away with and just drive out. To, just to make sure last person over the line. Uh, so yes, we're currently second, Vettel third, we're heading out now, there's a couple people still in the garage, I guess one of them is Lance Stroll. Uh, so we're going to be going on to start our final run here, to try and see if we can get pole position for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Not a brilliant run through the first corner, I'm going to be perfectly honest, not the best, we could have had a better run through there. And a bit twitchy on the exit of turn two as well. That's gonna cost us all the way down the straight here on the run down to turn three. So not a brilliant first sector for us so far. But that de all depends on how we do through three and four. As we get a decent run through three actually, it gains us a lot of time. And, and through turn four as well. So we gain about a second, a tenth and a half, and a, about a tenth up on sight through that first sector, which is really good, but people are gonna be improving. People are going to be improving and Verstappen improves to so a 35-9, uh, goes on to provisional pole. Uh, we're still gaining time. We lost a bit of time here in the castle section and it shows because we gain a load of time. They're over a tenth. Sainz back on provisional pole by two tenths to Verstappen. Gasly's popped up into second place. We can improve as the checker flag falls. We've still got plenty of chance to prove. As turn 15 cutting it way more than I normally do before. Gains us a lot of time. Exiting sector 2, it's purple in the second sector, 7 tenths up. I believe this would be good enough for pole position because I think it's a 35-7 or something like that is the best. And we're currently almost a second up on our best time. Uh, this is a full throttle blast to the line at this point in time. DRS opening up right about now. Uh, so to be honest, probably the most pointless DRS zones on the entire calendar. As we cross the line, I just hit my desk. Ow. Okay, good job, mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get pole position in Baku by six and a half tenths. And manage to hit your knuckles on your desk in the process. Um, but, anywho, moving on, it is pole. It's Vessel down in sixth place. I don't know what's going on with my audio here. It seems to be cutting out, but I don't know if that's the video pausing or the... I don't know. But, we're on pole. We've got Sainz alongside Leclerc and Gasly. What is it with those two lining up alongside each other on the grid, honestly? But Leclerc and Gasly behind us on roll uh, two, of course. Gasly starting on that medium compound tire, as is Max Verstappen, who's alongside Sebastian Vettel, Lando Norris, Sergio Perez, Lance Dole, Yuki Tsunoda. Those two did not go for a second run. Obviously didn't hit the tire to do so. But we're going to head on now towards the grid and see if we can finally nab that first win of the season. I appreciate Baku's where I got my first win of season five as well, because I know how to win this race. I know how to win Baku. It's easy. Start on the mediums. France, same method. Start on the mediums, but back who this time. Let's head to the grid, see what's going to happen today. And a warm welcome to you from Azadlik Square, heart of Baku and home, of course, to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. With high speeds, tight corners and few runoff zones, many are expecting a safety car here today. So our drivers will have to stay very much on their toes and hopefully away from the barriers. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. It's race day yet again and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. 
Ant, our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. It's the owner driver in pole position then, and talented Spaniard Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Gasly, Max Verstappen, and Vettel, Norris, Perez, Stroll, and Yuki Tsunoda, Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Callum Eilert, and Latifi. Aitken, Russell, Christian Lungard, and Nobuharu Matsushita, Jovanadze, Ocon, Mazepin, and Mick Schumacher. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure I have no head of raising Baku on this game in my team without a safety car. I don't know what strategy that is. I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be a safety car at some point in this race. There always is. Um, ignore this strategy thing here. We all know what strategy I'm going for. Start a medium head to solve the course. The game doesn't think that's possible. It is possible. Because uh, I did it last season and it bloody worked a damn treat. Uh, in terms of the rest of the grid, it's, it's of course soft tires for everybody in the top 10 who has a star and the mediums for myself, Gasly and Verstappen, as well as the small Haas cards, everybody else on the soft tires. So we've got five drivers on mediums, safe and teen on softs. Let's see how this works out. Baku always throws up something crazy. We'll just find out what that's going to be this time. It's five lights are on ahead of us for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. They're out, we're racing in Baku, it's a decent start for us, all things considered, despite the medium tire of science coming through on the inside, but into turn one, we keep the lead, there's a Haas going down the inside and crashing in the background, there's a crash at the back of the grid, someone has gone into someone, I think that might be Mick Schumacher, as there is a Torosso backing up, as the safety car is out on the first lap, I said there was probably going to be a safety car, it's out already, first lap safety car for Mick Schumacher. I think it is. He got away. To be honest, he actually got a really decent start on those medium compound tires from the back of the grid. And into turn one, he sent it into the back of a Toro Rosso. He absolutely sent it and caused a pile up. As uh, so why is the why is that was that's Callum Eilat. He was just stopped at turn two. Why was he stopped at turn two? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But all I know is that Schumacher got a brilliant star and then just sent it way too much into turn one, then went into Callum Eilat, who then was just parked it at turn two, as everyone's trying to get away from there. And then there's just like a car park at turn two, it seems, the people slowing down, ghosting. What? I don't know what's going on back there at turn two, but there's something going on. And uh, this is what happened. Safety car got called out. First it was a VSC, then an actual safety car. Everyone slows down. Lungard, that was Russell, I think it was actually just stopped. Ilot is just parked on the flipping apex because reasons? I don't know. Um, but either way, the safety, there's been an opening lap crash at tu before turn one. And the safety car is out. Classic packet. But we're leading. Carlos Sainz is second. Charles Leclerc third. Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel gaining place. Pierre Gasly down a cup, down a place or two. Uh, then got Lando Norris, Sergio Perez, Lance Stroll, Lewis Hamilton closing out the top 10 and Sergio Perez is in! Wait, is he putting some damage on the first lap? Or is this is a... No, no damage! This is a very strange strategy from Red Bull. What the... So, okay then! Red Bull clearly knows something we don't. And have pitted Sergio Perez under the safety car at the end of the lap went onto the medium compound tires. As the safety car is going to be coming in at the end of this lap, of course. As you'd expect. Uh, but Perez, I don't know what the hell that- To be fair, he, he was pretty good on strategy last season, to be fair. He was pretty good on strategy last season, he got a massive undercut finish second, um, he under like half the field. So we'll see if that works out for him, but safety car is it coming in, we're just allowing it to pull away a little bit. So we can just, basically my aim is to try and floor it as soon as I can, we have floored it 
the safety car is gonna be in. It's back into the pit lane. We've pretty much bolted, and we're trying to get the jump on the rest of the grid. To be honest, I think we have, as the green flags are waving, we're racing once again, and we've already got almost a second on site. That is how you do a safety car restart in Baku. Absolutely perfect. We got that safety car restart to perfection. It's further down the field. Lungard is under pressure from Giovinazzi. And Mazepin's under pressure from Ilot. Meanwhile, as well, just behind these guys, they're starting to kick off at the back here. As um, Giovinazzi, I think, might have just gotten ahead there. Um, or has he? Because Lungard's still coming back in. But I think Giovinazzi might have the upper hand here. And he does. It's Giovinazzi ahead of Lungard. Ahead of whichever one of these two comes out far in front of, of this whole battle here. As it looked like Lungard was maybe about to try to come back at the Alfa Romeo, but he could, couldn't in the end. Ilot and Mazepin, meanwhile, are still going for it. Ilot just has the upper hand as they're making a bit of contact there at four. There's, they're they're going to have to give it up. There's no way they'll keep it side by side. Through it to be honest. I've seen AI do it before. They're still going for it. So who's going to yield to the bagging tires? Someone's going to yield. And in the end, it's Callum Ilot who yields. And so it's Jovenanti had a Lungard, Mazepin, Ilot, Mazepin, Ocon, and Perez on the back of them. Uh, we've got an over one second gap, one and a half second gap up front, meanwhile. As uh, we've kind of just checked out at the front, to be fair. As I was kind of hoping to do, just check out at the front, do my own race. That was kind of the plan I was, kind of what I was hoping would happen is there I go at turn 15 again. As Jeff Confirmed. has no idea what he's talking about on strategy. Absolutely no idea. They're going purple through the first and second sector of this lap. Uh, looking good for a fastest lap time. Didn't have a great exit from turn 16, though, so not too sure this sector 3 will be purple. But it will hopefully at least be green. At the very least, we're deploying our battery as well. No DRS, of course, because first of all, don't know if it's enabled. Second of all, we don't have a car in front of us. Uh, it is the fastest lap of the race. Uh, there goes DRS enabled, and there goes signs into the pit lane and Vettel. So the two stopper, pit stoppers are starting for Bar Sergio Perez. They went for that strange early pit stop. Medium tires look to be the order of the day for everybody coming in. Uh, it should be medium tires. So that's a terrible camera angle. The Williams cameraman seemingly getting a good angle there. The cameraman having a look at the, from the Williams garage. There goes Isla to Mazepin once again. This battle's still going on. Maz um, Isla clearly trying to come back at Mazepin because, of course, it was uh, the Russian who stayed ahead last time. And now it's Isla who's gotten ahead before the breaking zone of turn three. As uh, they're still not, they're still in that train. Nothing else has changed in that whole train. Perez. His strategy being hampered a little bit, being stuck in traffic, that might not help him out too much. And these two are going to be on the back of that train before too long. Um, but either way, meanwhile, further up the grades, it's happened, of course, continuing on. As he's on the medium compound tires, more soft runners coming into the pit lane. Aitken's continuing on for another lap. Must be been Anti must be coming in. That's my guess. As again, medium tires will be the order of the day, I'd imagine, for the second set. The AI tends to go pretty safe on strategies, I've noticed. I never notice AI going for policy strategies. It's working the clerk out in this old train. Sight is caught up to the back of that train, my I just mentioned. Even the clerk is right on the back of it. So, he's not lost any ground. He's still basically where he was anyway in that whole train. Is This whole train being headed by Matsushita there, who is... Basically holding everyone up. He's not pit made his pit stop yet. While quite a few people have. The only people who haven't is Matsushita, Lungard, Aitken, Verstappen, Gasly, and then myself, I believe. Um, we are, we're, the top three going longer. We're on board with the side pod. If you're uh, on board, Pierre Gasly's side pod there. Who's gaining on Max Verstappen. Gonna have to go defensive. Gasly's alongside him as they head down towards turn one. He's got the inside line. Can he get this move done? The two former teammates from 2019, the first half of the season, of course. He's gonna have to get this move finished off down into turn three if he wants to get this move done. Who's got the DRS? Neither of them have DRS. But Gadley's tucked back in behind to that slipstream. Can he come back at him? He's going to come back at him. Down into turn three as um, Aitken's been into the pit lane. And the final last few of the soft run is Gasly around the outside. Can he get his move done? I think he has got the move done. Nice move in the end from Pierre Gasly to come back at him like that. And then get up into second place. But that's cost him a lot of time. They've fallen to 7.7 .7 seconds behind ourselves. We're still up there in first place at the moment. Mad's been now holding up this whole train here. 
as, um, well, he's going long on that first stint, as are we, of course, on the medium compound tires. Um, Gasly doing the same. Gonna be interesting to see what they, what they, what they, what, uh, what those two go for, for the second strategy. For the, for the strategy, I mean. Uh, whether they go two stop or one stop, I don't know, we'll have to find out. Masvin's gonna be passed here by Sergio, uh, look, uh, yeah, Sergio Perez. Who is going past him on the main straight? Could Carlos Sainz get involved as well? I think he might. He's looking to the outside. And if he's going to try for the move, old mediums against the new mediums, and it's the new mediums that win out on that one. Um, as Sainz made his way back up into the top five, man, has been down to six. He's got Leclerc and the other Red Bull right behind him. Leclerc, he's right on his back. He's going to want to go for this move before too long. He's looking to the inside. He's going to the outside. He's going for the move into turn 15. This never ends well as he clouds the barrier on the exit. Th that move never ends well. Vettel's getting into it in the background. Vettel's going for it. Opportunistic move from the German. Nice one from uh, Vettel to get by Mazda there who's now holding up absolutely everyone Norris is right on his tail they head through the final few corners of the lap not really proper corners unless it's raining of course or you have completely dead tires Mazda I think might be coming into the pit lane at the end of this lap he's pulling over I think he is but Norris is going to be under pressure Leclerc is in as well is he picking damage I wonder we'll look back at that in a minute Norris stays ahead of Stroll who's under pressure from Hamilton who just gets ahead there and Sainz has got ahead of Sergio Perez as well and all that. We'll still have a look back at that in a minute. But what well, Perez has been overtaken by Carlos Sainz. Perez, his teammate, Leclerc, has been into the pit lane for a front wing change and to go to the hard compound tires. So he can go to the end on that. This is what happened, basically. He just clouted the barrier. He just clouted the barrier there, but I've seen it before. We've seen it before in previous seasons. Going around the outside of turn 15 is never a good idea, and that's exactly why. Uh, but let's just have a look back at this whole thing, because this is, it basically, this all started with Leclerc trying to clear Nikita Mazepin, and he went around where he shouldn't have, around the outside of turn 15, because that always happens. That then opened the door for Vettel to just go for an opportunistic dive into turn 15, turn 16, sorry, there was a bit of contact made as well. And I think that get, must have given Madsen damage because he was looking a bit slow through here. Or, well, either that or we just got bad run. He probably got bad run through 16 anyway. Um, that gave, basically opened the door for Stroll to have a look at Norris because Stroll was able, able to get right up the rear of Norris. But then Hamilton in the background was pulling in as well, looking for a move on the Aston Bar, looking on from the, from the Kikam Yuki Tsunoda there. Hamilton gets the move done, and this is what's happening up the road, meanwhile. While that was happening, Science was clearing um, uh, Sergio Perez over fourth place. Uh, into turn one, around the outside he goes, uh, does the Spaniard. Can he get the move done? I think he does get the move done. He does! And Perez has a look to the outside, but can't quite get the move done. And uh, there is the end of the front wing change for Leclerc. As I said, onto the hard compound tires. He can run to the end on these tires. He can run to the end, um, but gonna see how this strategy works out for him in the long run. We'll have to wait and see. As there goes Madsen as well, back out of his pit box. As uh, Leclerc rejoins in 19th, Madsen right behind in 20th, well, I say right behind, a couple seconds behind in 20th. Meanwhile, end of the lap, Max Verstappen is in for his pit stop. Will now, what's his strategy gonna be? What is the Dutchman gonna do for tires? I see his set of softs going on to that Mercedes for the second stint. So it's a two-stop for the Dutchman. Um, where is he going to rejoin? He was quite ways ahead of this whole train. So let's see where he comes through. He'll be powered through the field anyway, regardless. Uh, but Sainz goes through. Perez goes through. Can he be ahead of Sebastian Vettel? And he will be just ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Rejoining in P5 then. But I imagine Verstappen on those soft tires is going to be cutting his way through the field. Gasly's in at the end of lap 11. Is he going to go on a two-stop or is he going to go for the one-stop? What is Ferrari thinking on strategy? They've got it wrong in the past quite a few times. As there goes Verstappen on Perez. Meanwhile, I told you he was going to be cutting his way through the field. And he is. It's hard tires for Gasly. Let's look back to this. Verstappen is past. Perez, where is Gasly going to rejoin meanwhile? So Gasly going for the one-stop strategy. He's running to the end. In a way, he's mirroring Leclerc because Leclerc's gone into hard combat tires. Gasly is just behind Sergio Perez. 
Um, so Gasly is the one we have to watch. That's the gap we have to worry about. We do not have to worry about the gap to Sainz, Verstappen, or Paris, because they all have to stop again. Ga the gap to Gasly is the gap we need to keep an eye on, because he's... Effectively, he's net P1 at the moment of the people who stopped and who of the strategy because you know we haven't stopped yet. P2, 3, and 4 all to make another pit stop. Um, and he doesn't have to stop again, he's going to the end. Um, but meanwhile, further down the field, or just behind us actually, um, I say just behind, like 23 seconds behind Verstappen, around the tail of signs. I think this might be a rather easy move for Max Verstappen to make. As he's got the slipstream, he's got the DRS, he's gonna have the battery. Can he get the move done into turn one? He's opting for the racing line. As Gaz is going for move on Paris in the background. This isn't quite as simple as Verstappen would have wanted. There goes Gasly on Paris. It was simple as, as, as simple as Verstappen wanted. There goes Gasly on Paris as well. Gasly cutting his way through the field on those new hard compound tires. Just trying to close the gap. Because, I mean, to be honest, at the moment, Technically, he's kind of racing us in terms of strategy because we have to make another pit stop. Perez is in for his second stop. He was the first person to stop. He pitted at the end of the lap one. I'll not, whatever strategy Red Bull are going for, I'm not entirely sure what Red Bull are doing in terms of strategy. Perez, I think, should rejoin ahead of his teammate. Who, it's just not quite worked out for him today, has it? Uh, sometimes it's like that. Perez will rejoin in 17th place just ahead of his former teammate Esteban Alcon. As, and meanwhile, further up the grid, as second pit stops are starting to happen now. Science is in um, right now. More of quite a few people are in actually. And again, medium tires will be the order of the day over here. As you'd imagine, mid soft tires will not go to the end from this stage of the race. Because tire work tends to be slightly bad around here. Ignore the fact I tend to do ballsy one stops. As Sainz is behind, is ahead of Sergio Perez, so it's not working out for Checo so far. As Vettel is in at the end of the lap, at the end of the next lap. He's, you know, going in a lot later than Sainz. He was in at the same time as Sainz last time. As the rest of the two stoppers, well, most of the rest of the two stoppers are in. We'll see where Seb can rejoin. He was right on the tail of Sainz, actually, before the pit stops. Um, so let's see where he can rejoin. Science has gone through. Norris has gone through as well, actually. So basically, so Lando Norris has actually undercut Sebastian Vettel there. Where the hell did that come from? Did he really, maybe, did Vettel really go one lap too long on the tires? Maybe, I think, I wonder, I don't know. That's my guess, is that he went one lap too long on tires. Um, but all I know is uh, we're pitching in at the end of the lap. Uh, because this is a strategy that did last season, it worked then, it'll work again now. Because like I said, the gap to Gadsley is the one we have to worry about and it's getting dangerously close to coming out behind him. Um, again, ignore the gap to Verstappen, because Verstappen will not get to the end on those tires. So he has to pit again in the midfield, looks to be doing their, trying to do their best impression of a league race by the looks around the mini-map. Um, but like I said, we're paying in this lap for the soft compound tires to go to the end of this race. Because they will go to the end from here. They will. They might not be in great shape by the end of the race, but they will go to the end. As there's a lot of, left a lot of smoke there. The pit entry by locking up on our way in. It'll be interesting to see when Verstappen comes in. He might come in at the end of this lap. We'll have to wait and see. As we pull into the pit box, Verstappen is in. It's a 2.2 second stop. Verstappen is in for the medium compound tires as we're uh, going a little bit wide on the exit, apparently crossing the pit exit line. As we've rejoined a good few seconds ahead of Gasly. Absolutely perfect on strategy. Absolutely perfect. Where can Verstappen come out though from his second stop? Can he? I think he will still be ahead of Carlos Sainz. He will still be ahead of Sainz. So I'll tell you what, the medium runner, those who started to meet him, not looking too bad, but we have to. I wonder if Gasly can hold on to that second place on those more worn hard tires against brand new mediums of Verstappen. We'll have to wait and find out how that hat works out. But Sainz 4th, Perez 5th, Norris 6th, Vettel 7th, Stroll 8th, Hamilton 9th, Sonoda 10th, got Alonso, Russell, Latifi, Giovinazzi, Aiken, Leclerc not working out for him, Mantucci, Lungard, Madsbin, Alcon rounding out the top 20. Uh, someone's DNF'd out of this race, I can't remember who. Someone DNF. Um, with a mechanical issue. I'm not quite sure who it was. I can't remember. Might have been Callum Ilo, I think. I don't know, but back with the selves. We've got a five second gap. We're looking pretty good. 
To be honest, this race has gone about as I hoped it would go, to be fairly honest. I know how to win a race, you know. There's a few tracks on this game where I just know how to win. Baku, France, Mexico, to be honest, Austria, if I can actually, you know, win a race here, that'll be lovely. I know how to do it, it's just doing it is the problem. I'll start again, and it's just start on mediums, end on softs. Unless it's France, then start on mediums, end on hards. As, we go, as you can see there, we went purple in the first sector, going for a fastest lap attempt to get that fastest lap off of Max Verstappen with 14 seconds back and gaining on Gasly, I think. Uh, which is, want to keep an eye on the gap between Verstappen and Gasly as we're heading down towards turn 15. Ever classic, cut the corner. My favourite line through there. You know, I don't think I've ever won taken that corner properly on this game. As we get a good run through 15, that's going to help us on the run down through sector 3 here. Uh, so for getting, uh, well, for getting the fastest lap of the race. I don't know what it is at the moment. All I know is that Max Verstappen has it. And we've gained almost 2 seconds on Gasly on this lap alone. Uh, we are absolutely flying at the moment, I think, is the best way of wording it. As we go 8 tenths quicker than our previous best set, the new fastest lap of the Grand Prix. And, uh, well, we're pretty comfortable up front. As Meanwhile, further down the field, the Hamilton Sonoda battle from last season commences once again. As Sonoda trying to get past Hamilton through the first corners, he's got it done. Further down the field, Matsushita is actually passing Leclerc. Leclerc tried to get to Matsushita, I'm not quite sure which way around that was. All I know is that Matsushita is ahead of Leclerc. Um, in 16th and 17th place, it's Hamilton is coming back at Sonoda, meanwhile. In the turn three, Hamilton around the outside. Can he get the, he does get the place back. But might want to be, you have to be careful there, because you know, turn two to three, but some of the DRS only, they can come back at you and they will. Um, as, uh, here we go, round two of Hamilton v Sonoda. It's further up the field, we've got Norris v Perez over fifth place. Perez, strategy might not just be working out for him, as here comes Norris on fresher tires. He has to sit in behind for the time being. Uh, Hamilton still ahead of Sonoda, meanwhile. But can Norris come back at Perez? I think he might just be too far back at the moment. Vettel's right up his, uh, right up his gearbox at the moment. But I don't think any moves will be made down in, into turn three. As Verstappen, he is gaining on Gasly. He's only four and a half seconds behind. As here comes round two of Perez v Norris. As Norris, he's up there for the outside line this time through turn one. Can he get the move done? He's, I think he has got the move done. Yes, he has. Further down the field, Sonoda v Hamilton. Round three, Hamilton. Stays ahead of Sonoda once again. That battle's still ongoing. As uh, Vettel's got DRS on Perez now. Can Vettel go for a move? He is right behind. I don't think he'll be close enough though. He just ran out straight. Can Sonoda come back at Hamilton? In the turn three again. Just ran out straight there I think. Could have done with a bit more straight away. We're losing the back end out of three. Uh, that could have ended much worse. But I mean call it well. Not going to really affect our lead or anything. We have a 10 second lead at the moment. As further down the field, here comes Sebastian Vettel on Sergio Perez down into turn one. One Red Bull driver against a former Red Bull driver and it's Vettel around the outside of Perez. Perez's strategy is not quite working out for him today. Red Bull have not got the strategy right today, let's be fair. Um, but okay, well, but to be in Sonoda's ahead of Hamilton. As, uh, but also, okay, for Leclerc, he got damage, but for Perez, I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Can Hamilton come back at Sonoda, though? I don't think so. He's looking a bit too far back as Perez is under pressure from Stroll, who's got very opportunistic there. Where the hell did that come from? Last Stroll getting very, very opportunistic there, let's be fair. And up into P7, Stroll, the strategy is not working out for him. As, meanwhile, we're gonna take a, we're gonna stay with this, because Verstappen is only a second behind Gasly. Over second place, a championship leader. Maybe not gone, again, Ferrari, not on one set of garage, not really gone for the correct strategy as the one stop. Not looking to be the one to have gone for. The, well, the one stop to hard tires anyway. The mediums seem to be a lot better at this stage of the race. Okay, to be fair, softs are probably pretty decent as well. And they are pretty decent. I have a 10 second lead. Um, but... Verstappen, he's gained a lot, he's gonna have DRS and he's gonna have a fantastic chance down into turn one to try and get uh, second place in this race. Pardon me, sorry. 
He does have the DRS, he's in the slipstream, can he get the move done? It's gonna be a late one. If he does get it done, he is gonna get it done. Down the inside, can he get this finished off here? Or really is he gonna finish off in turn two? I think he's not quite got it done yet. They're still side by side. Down into turn three, who's gonna have the DRS here? If either of them, it's Verstappen with the DRS and with the inside line. As Antonio Giovinazzi DNFs out of this race. Um, and it is Verstappen ahead of Pierre Gasly. So the strategy not quite worked out there for Gasly so far. He's just lost second place. Can Sainz catch up on those other medium compound tires? Um, as further in the field, that's Lungard now ahead of Leclerc as well. Again, strategy not working out for Red Bull. And it's not working out for Gasly, who with one lap to go, one lap and a bit of racing remaining, might be about to lose a third place. As he, this is a battle for the final podium position of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix here in Season 6. Sainz has DRS on his teammate. There's going to be no team orders down at Maranello today. That's for damn sure. As here comes Sainz down the pit straight. He's got the outside line return when he's got the fresher tires. He's got the softer tires. And I think he's got third place in this race. He has. Gasly, after looking good for second at one point, has down to fourth as Vettel defends off against Lance Stroll there. And holds on to 6th place. As um, further down the field, it is uh, Leclerc gaining on Lungard meanwhile. This is over 16th place. He's trying to go for the move though. Try and salvage, just salvage something from this race. It's not been a great race for him, let's be fair. Lungard holding on to the position. Esmond Ocon is right in the background of this. Might want to be a bit careful there. And Ocon, I think he's actually a bit closer to Leclerc than Leclerc is to Lungard. They both have DRS, but he's having to defend Leclerc from Ocon, who's going for the outside line, down towards turn three. He might get this move done, you know. Round the outside of three. Is he going to get it done? I think he has got it done. Overtaker, be overtaken. Leclerc just got to overtake it. Race to forget for him. But to be fair, we've had a fucking smack. We've had a very quiet race that cut the corner at turn 15 one final time. We all know what I'm like at turn 15. I have not taken that corner correctly once on this game, and I don't plan to. I seriously hope on F1 2022 you can cut that corner just as much, but not been a great start to the season so far for us, but brought it back in Baku as I knew we could. Uh, led every single lap of this race, had pull, fastest lap as well, and we're now weaving our way to victory in the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Don't mind me just going sideways across the line. You know what I'm like Fantastic. when when I win races in this game. I always go sideways across the line. I uh, I know how to win this race. I did it again. <laughs> Who just hit us? Who the hell just hit us there? Was that a Ferrari? I think that might have been a Ferrari. It was. It was Carlos Sainz there. My AI was just reversing, and then Sainz just hit us. Let's have a look at this from Cockpit Cam. Holy shit! Just imagine that. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, don't mind me, I just went sideways across the line then caused an almighty crash on the start finish straight. Can't fault the performance on the track today, a well-deserved victory. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. So, first win of the season, sideways across the line, quite literally. Um, you know what I'm like on this game when I win races, I always go try go sideways across the line. To be honest, I did it in Monaco as well, but that seems to be a crap race that I wanted to. Uh, but it's Verstappen second, and then Sainz in third. We had the fastest lap as well, like quite some margin. And then it's uh, yeah, Gasly in fourth championship leader, actually going points today. Um, as yes, it was Callum Ilo who'd retired earlier and it was a mechanical failure. Jovenance as well, Mick Schumacher retiring, of course, on lap before turn one. But with that freaking dive bomb down the inside, they just did not quite work out. Let's be fairly honest on that one. As in terms of the standings, 29 points back for us at the moment. That will hopefully close again at the next race because it's France. You, I, that's my specialty on this game. Sainz is up in the second, just four points back from Gasly. 
Leclerc down to third, 12 points down. Still really close at the top. Um, Vettel, 21 points back. Verstappen's up there. And Norris has left up quite a bit with that finishing result. He got the undercut done. I did not expect that undercut from Norris on, on Vettel. But, you know what? The McLaren are digging themselves back out of a pit. We close in on Ferrari in the Constructors' Championship. Meanwhile, 46 points back. But they're still a long ways off. And those cars are bloody quick. McLaren leap ahead of AlphaTauri and Alpine. Aston Martin leap ahead of Williams with that result for Lance Stroll. As I said, we're off to, to Paul Ricard for the French Grand Prix next time. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, you know, I, I, I've i won that race every season of my team on this game. I don't plan to start losing it now. I want to see if I can win that race every season of my team on this game. It's possible. It is 100% possible. Um, all I will say, though, is if it's, if it's raining for the start of the race, keep the house cars away from me. And that is a reference you will not understand unless you've seen the French Grand Prix in season one of my team on F1 2020. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go French Grand Prix next time. Hopefully it'll be another win. But for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all those stuff. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.